llegando desde Nueva York. Trae Now from New Nueva York, York el Minister of Foreign Affairs of Cuba, la de la dignidad, Bruno the Island of Parrilla, Dignity. Favor, Bruno Rodriguez Parrilla, please, go ahead. Compañero Nicolás Maduro Moros, Presidente Nicolás Maduro Moros, President of the Venezuela. Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Compañero Luis Arce Catacora, President, Luis Arce Catacora, President of the Plurinational State of Bolivia. Mr. Roosevelt Skerritt, Prime Minister of Dominica. Mr. Ralph, Ralph Gonzalez, Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Granadines. Mr. Evo Morales, Aima and Rafael Correa. Leaders of our America. Dear compatriots of the Bicentennial Congress of the Peoples, Mr. Sacha Llorenti, Executive Secretary, I want to transmit greetings of the first Secretary of the Communist Party of Cuba and President of the Republic, Miguel Díaz Canel Bermúdez. Les dice, that tells you we salute the brothers of and sisters of Alba TCP that today Caracas. gather in Como Caracas. As 17 Cuba years ago, Cuba is among you 200 years after the legendary battle of Carabobo. Allow me to thank all the member states of the ALBA for your traditional support to the Cuban resolution against the blockade of the United States. All the gratitude of our people to the Bicentennial Congress of the Peoples for its solidarity resolution with Cuba once again an overwhelming majority of the international community rejected this illegal, criminal, and genocide policy directed to bend the resistance and the victory of the Cuban people. Thank you very much for the opportunity given to us by Venezuela to join here in this ALBA summit and the peoples of the Bicentennial inspired in liberator Simón Bolívar who started the wars for the independence of our America. The Venezuelan people continues to free, continues to fight an exemplary fight against the imperialism that want to stop the work of Bolivar forced by Chavez, defended by the Chavista people in civic military union under the leadership of constitutional president Mr. Nicolás Maduro Moros. Greetings, and I reiterate our support to the Nicaraguan people and its reconciliation and national unity government led by Commander Daniel Ortega, which have defended the achievements of the country despite the interference, interfering actions of the government of the United States. We are happy to share this space with President Luis Arce of the Plurinational State of Bolivia, example of the strength of the peoples in their fight for justice. All our support to the rights of the peoples of the Caribbean to have a just treat differentiated treat, important to challenge the climate change, the natural disasters, the unjust financial system, and the new and difficult conditions imposed by the pandemic. The response 
of the Alba nations after the eruption of La Sofia volcano in St. Vincent and the Grenadines sending humanitarian aid and health personnel the support for evacuating the people also in the recovery task all that confirms the strength of the alliance and the values that, that inspire us the COVID-19 pandemic have shown the division of the world and how fragile are the underdeveloped economies. How can we explain to the people that the extraordinary advances of science and this position of the scientific community of the world to face the pandemic and that one of thousands of professionals and health technicians in all the latitudes cannot guarantee that most of humanity to have access to the medicines and to the necessary hospitalization. How could they use the speed of the communication to free the commerce of goods now that there is an emergency, dozens of countries put some obstacles to the export of medical issues and the United States reinforced or strengthened unilateral and coercive measures what was used to the creation of, in, in a record time of vaccines if dozens of countries cannot even thinking in how many years they can vaccinate their entire population how to explain the families of the, of the people who died that those based in the neoliberal dogma reduced during decades the public function and the state function and the health budgets the multi multi-dimensional crisis that we face proved injustice and the lack of equilibrium in the economic order and the absence of political will to revert the decisions that prioritize richness and wealthy wealth for some people over the lives of the human beings. Latin America and the Caribbean suffers today one of the strongest hits. In the midst of those difficult circumstances, the economic war against Venezuela strengthened and new unilateral and coercive, uh, coercive measures were applied against Nicaragua, a strong system of science and technological innovation allied to the universal health system with human resources have made possible the results that Cuba and Alba have obtained facing the pandemic. It happened while our capabilities to import medicine, all that was affected, our strong will of building a sovereign nation, independent, socialist, democratic, prosperous and sustainable nation is what the U.S. imperialism wants to make disappear. For that, the government of the United States imposed more than 240 unilateral, unilateral coercive, coercive measures against Cuba, 50 of them, in the mo most recent period. All of them still in force today. If the government of the United States would have, as some of their spokespersons have interest in human rights in Cuba or in our region, they would put an end to the criminal economic blockade that they have imposed in Cuba for more than 60 years and that want for the Cuban people to die of starvation. They can eliminate the coercive unilateral measures against sister nations 
and they can't renounce the neoliberal paradigm that so many problems have brought to our people. They cannot stop the advance of ALBA, which has been evident in the commitments achieved, in the willingness of sister nations to advance, and in the relation of with the people that evidence that it is an evidence here in this bicentennial congress of the peoples cuba maintains is its solidarity will and of international cooperation for the benefit of our people and it will happen that way to tackle the pandemic and the disposal of vaccines. We will not stop in our fight to defend ourselves as 200 years were, was done by the brave Venezuelan soldiers Mr. President Nicolás Maduro, please, you have, you have the support of Cuba in the first line for the battle of, for life, for dignity, for peace, and for justice. Thank you very much.